Stop play, boys. Welcome back to another video, man. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I know somebody's gonna be in the comments like, bro, I can't hear you, bro. This your car's too loud. Well, turn up your volume, damn, bro. But yours popping. It was good. I will be putting the windows down, but it's too dang hot. Well, not hot. It's too dang humid. But yeah, man, today's video is a story time video because I asked on Instagram on what you guys would like to see. And I had a couple of people say that you guys would like to see some story times. And uh, I'm known for telling good stories, so hopefully you guys, you know, hopefully you guys like this one. So we're going to talk about my past um, and uh, why I used to go to like takeover type meets. Well, not a takeover. Back when I used to go in like 2015, 2016. There were, there were, there, it wasn't takeovers, bro. It was just like a group of friends, a group of people, or like a, a, a group of just, you know, a car group. And they'll go find an empty warehouse and they'll go do some drifts and stuff like that. But boy, oh boy, has time changed. So I'm gonna tell you a story about how my friend almost got chased by the police, bro. Almost. And this, let me tell you how stupid we were of even thinking of going to a, a warehouse takeover type meet that that definitely wasn't you know looked at before they actually did it because bro mind you there's still three spots every every spot got flushed out by cops but the thing is the thing is they were trying to move do it smart and they'll go to one they'll go to one city do it leave the city go to a different city do it leave the city go to a different city do it but they're so stupid like they don't think cops would communicate with other people. Like they don't, they don't think they don't think cops communicate with other uh, enforcement, like cops, like police departments. I'm trying to say, and be like, hey man, be a lookout for these groups of high speed, super fast and furious racers. They didn't think of that, bro. So we we you know everybody's having fun. Ooh, drift, uh, skirt, 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 uh, uh, stuff like that. People racing, racing on the highway. Not the highway. People racing on the on the uh, the warehouse and stuff. Cause you know it's a big old warehouse, so it's like a mile of just warehouses. So people doing one mile races, not one mile, but quarter mile races and stuff like that. Having fun. People taking U-Haul trucks and drifting the U-Haul trucks. Bro, the guy who took the U-Haul truck, one of the one of the takeover meets, bro. He he freaking he freaking blew the motor or he popped the tire. Something happened and the cops came and he was just sitting there like a like a duck. And like I don't know what happened to him. We just left him. He was asking us for help. I was like, yeah, bro, I got a plug. I can plug you. And then we heard woo woo. And I said, oh, I'm out. But yeah, man. So we're having fun to take over. The last spot was a very fishy spot. So the last spot was literally, I'm not going to even say it was a mile away from the police department because it wasn't. It was literally less than a mile away from the police department. I'll say it was about like, probably like a quarter mile away from the police department, bro. The highly of the police department. If you guys know what highly it is, if you live in South Florida, you guys know the, 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 police, the police department and then there's a warehouse of like a couple blocks down. That's where they had the last takeover meet. I don't know if they wanted us to run away from the cops. I didn't know if they wanted us to do a, a, a freaking Fast and Furious movie scene with the cops. But, bro, luckily, I'm being smart. I'm looking at the maps the whole time as I'm driving. And I'm like, wait a bro. That says training facility. That says Hialeah's police department. And then right behind it is the training facility. And I'm like, wait. Something ain't adding up. Bro. The spot got raided within like 10 minutes. When I said raided, it got raided. You know how usually cops come and they flush out of me? It's like two, three cops. Bro, they came like 20 deep. 20 deep of cops. And I was like, what? Good thing Dusty was completely stuck at the time. And I didn't record none of these type of meets. But, bro. Yo, I was so scared. I thought I was going to jail. So, as we're trying to dip from the spot, we have to stop at a red light because this is literally a red light right there. So we stop at the red light and we all getting chased by the cops and people stopping at red lights. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna stop at a red light because my car is stopped. I'm gonna just say I, I didn't know what was going on if I get pulled over. And if I get a ticket, I get a ticket. I, I'm not gonna get chased by no damn cops. So we're all at the we're all at the stoplight, right? And everybody's supposed to be turning because you could you could bust the you could bust the right. So everybody's busting a right. My friend cuts off the cop that's behind us. He cuts him off and try to that and try to jump in front of me or jump in front of the line of all the, everybody else. So mind you, it's basically like a two lane like this. So 
cop went straight for him. Luckily, the cop had to decide. He had to decide if he wanted to go for the Mustang or if he wanted to go for the two guys who were about to run the red light. So, yeah, I didn't even say that yet. The two guys were in G. They flat like, bro, it was a red light just like this, like where we're at right now. And two Gs just fly right past. Fum, fum. Mind you, it's a green light for the other people. So they're they're going, they're driving. And these Gs just said, screw it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it. And send it right through the middle. Man, you think I give a fuck about a motherfucking red light? And bro, they were so close from like smacking these cars. So close. I don't know what happened to those Gs after that. I heard they took him on a high speed chase. One person went to jail, the other guy got away or something like that and dissed the car. I don't know, bro, but I just know that it was crazy. Bro, ever since then, I was like, yeah, never again. Never going to those type of meets. Screw that. It's not worth getting arrested for. Why would I go to jail just because I, I was watching people do donuts? Or why would I get a, a crazy amount, a crazy fine for just watching people do donuts? So, yeah, bro. My friend, ever since then, he stopped going to takeover type meets. Um, he, was, he was scared because, like, literally, he was about to get pulled over by a cop. Not even pulled over. He was literally about to take the cop on a high speed chase. But then again, I understand why he wouldn't want to stop it because if you have a whole bunch of cars like this just hitting it, I don't think the cop would really care about only you. He probably care about a bunch of you guys, but I don't know. Luckily, luckily, those two G's came and saved his day because he definitely would have been in trouble for it.